Hello and welcome to the channel. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Todd Judin Habas, has called for the review of the average Nigerian worker's salary, saying their salary is not even enough to fill the tank of a car. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. House of Reps Speaker. Abbas advocates salary review for workers. Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas has advocated a review of salaries for workers in the country. Abbas said this in a statement by Special Advisor on Media and Publicity, Musa Abdullahi Krishi in Abuja on Monday. He said it was imperative to take a look at what an average worker would need to be paid a salary in view of the current economic reality. He said there was need to come up with a living wage that will take care of the basics of a person such that he will not have to look outside his lawful income. Abbas urged government to take example of UK experiment on the Western world, adding that fundamentally what they did was to sit down and look at what an average worker will need to be paid a salary. Today, if you are a laborer in London, you will be paid enough for you to go and pay your rent, take care of your basics, and still be able to have a fairly good living. With that kind of incentive, you don't need to go and borrow. You don't need to go and beg. You don't need to go and steal. He said the current Nigerian situation was such that an average worker earned less than what somebody could use to buy fuel to fill his car tank. The speaker further said that such individual with such burden would not be honest and transparent. For us to wage a war on corruption, we need to create an enabling environment where each and every one of us will be able to operate transparently. This, according to him, is without having to steal, intimidate, and having to go and beg or to borrow, and that is the beginning of the reform. If we can get the rule of law working, we will be able to work on the reforms necessary for fighting corruption. In fighting corruption, we also need to create an enabling environment where an average worker should be able to earn enough to live with his family, he said. Meanwhile, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, also bemoaned the flood that ravaged the trade mall estate Lugbe Abuja, which caused severe destruction of property worth millions of naira. Dr. Tajuddin Habar said it was highly regrettable that people going about their normal lives with their families found themselves in such a difficult situation. The speaker sympathized with the residents of the trade mall estate over the unfortunate incident. He recalled that relevant government agencies that before the raining season alerted the public to the possibility of flood in some parts of the country, saying the public must heed such warnings. Speaker Abbas called on the authorities to swing into action to avert the reoccurrence of the incident. He reiterated the need for the public to take all necessary measures to avoid flood-prone areas. The FCT Emergency Management Agency had on Friday said 116 were affected by the flood. It will be recalled that following a downpour in the Federal Capital Territory on Friday, no fewer than 116 buildings have been submerged by the flood in the affected areas. Residents of Tradmore Estate along the Lugbe Airport Axis lamented their losses as the flood left a trail of destruction in its wake. What began as light showers around 8 a.m. turned into a relentless downpour, catching residents off guard. The sudden deluge of water overwhelmed the drainage systems which were hill equipped to handle such a volume of water leading to a rapid rise in floodwaters that engulfed the entrance of the estate. One of the victims who spoke to our correspondent on condition of anonymity said he narrowly escaped being carried away by the waves, adding that his car and a batch of bread meant for delivery that morning could not be salvaged. Thank God I can swim. I nearly drowned. There was also someone in front of me who was struggling, but I do not know what happened to him. It was after I got to that point that people were able to help me. He hardened. Some residents, however, blamed the government for the perennial flooding in the area. A resident, Shegun Arkin, said, I am a major stakeholder here. I have been here for 10 to 11 years. The volume of water that came into trade more five years ago is not the same volume that is coming into trade more this year. 
We try to talk to the government about looking at the volume of water that comes into trade mall from Goladimawa Axis. My house is just at the back of the canal. I have never seen such a volume of water before coming into trade mall. As long as the water from the Galadimawa axis is not controlled, there is no way it can be contained here. Responding to the allegation, the Director General of the Federal Emergency Management Agency, Dr. Abbas Idris, said the government should instead be blamed for not clearing and demolishing the estate earlier, adding that the entire estate sat on a waterway. Meanwhile, FEMA, in a statement signed by its head of public affairs, Inkeshi Isa, said no life was lost to the flood. Isa, however, said a total of 116 houses were submerged. The statement also dismissed reports on social media that a resident on the estate went missing in the flood. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Meanwhile, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, has said that unless Nigeria strengthens a rule of law and the fight against corruption, the country will not go anywhere. He said the law of the land must be worked in such a way that both the big and the small are treated the same way to give everyone a sense of justice and fairness. Speaker Abbas spoke at a reception organized in his honor by the Nigerian High Commission in London on Sunday night. In Nigeria, some people do whatever they like. You can't commit any crime and go scot free, depending on the size of your pocket or the people you know. That has to go. Unless we are able to strengthen our rule of law to make it in such a way that it affects both the big and the small, and it doesn't look at the face of whoever is committing an offense, we will never go anywhere, he said. Speaking on the war against corruption, Speaker Abbas said the country's anti-corruption drive must also be strengthened for meaningful progress to be recorded. One of such ways, he said, was to look at the living wage of workers with a view to enhancing heads to make them to be honest and transparent in their dealings. He said, we need to also intensify the war against corruption. No society in this world can ever thrive and be what it wants to be if corruption is the order of the day. But I agree that for you to fight corruption, there are some things you need to do. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.